so today we're going to set up our uh, ultra undo with our 7 volt uh, linear power supply. So the first thing we do, we uh, plug in the linear power supply, then we plug that into the back of the deck. Um, then we got our LAN cable, plug that in, that goes uh, directly to our router. Um, this is our DAC here, we're using this, this tiny little headphone DAC, but any USB DAC will work. Uh, so take the USB cable, plug that into here, and then go into the DAC. So that's it, those are all set up. Put the power on and the linear supply. It's up, you can see it's 7 volts. You can see the little LEDs coming on on the back of the, um, uh, the Ultra Rendu. On the Ultra Rendu, this LED will go to yellow and then to green once it's ready. And then we'll be ready to uh, add the back into room. Next, we want to add your DAC into room. Uh, the first thing we do is using a web browser, we go to sonicorbiter.com. This will uh, let us get into the Ultra Rendu and make sure everything's configured properly. Here I'm going to click Manage next to the Ultra and Do, and then I'm going to go into Apps and the DAC Diagnostic and uh, take a look at the at the DAC I connected. So you can see it's a wired for sound DAC. It's all set up correctly. Looks great. Then um, I go into Settings uh, and into my Room Ready Player. Make sure these are all set and click Save Changes. Even if I don't you know, make any changes here, I always click save changes because that's going to uh, rebuild the configuration for room and, and restart it. All right, so that's done. So now we can go into room and um, manage our audio devices. We can see the uh, the Ultra Undo has to be enabled before it will appear in room. So we'll put it here and we'll just call it uh, Ultra Undo. out here. So now we can select an audio zone. There's our ultra undo. And now we're ready to play a track. <laughs> 